Let's make cabbage rolls stuffed with mushroom lentil filling. Here are all the ingredients that we need. You want to start by boiling the potatoes in some water and veggie broth. Once the potatoes are soft, drain the water and add garlic. Here I roasted the garlic clove before. Then add a little bit of crushed black pepper, a little bit of freshly ground nutmeg and plant milk of your choice. Just add a little bit and start mashing the potatoes. And you can obviously add some more plant milk or veggie broth until the mashed potatoes have the consistency you enjoy. Next, we're going to start with the filling. First, if you're using a parsnip, peel it and cut it into small pieces so that it cooks quicker. And then you want to peel and finely dice an onion. It doesn't matter if it's a red one, white one on a, or a shallot. And we need a little bit more garlic. If you don't like garlic, leave it out. Then you want to add a little bit of water to a frying pan. Add the onion, garlic and the parsnip. Stir it. And then you can start by adding the red lentils. They cook pretty quickly. And I added a, a little bit of water and then I prepared the mushrooms while the lentils were cooking. I cut, I diced them very finely and added it to the frying pan as well. Stir it for a little bit, added some tomato paste, a little bit of Italian herbs, cayenne pepper, if you like it spicy, some smoked paprika. And then I added a little bit of smoked hickory balsamic from California balsamic. If you don't have it, just leave it out. It's not a big deal. Then you want to stir it, add a little bit more water and let it cook until here's the lentil mushroom filling ready. Now we're going to prepare our Savoy cabbage leaves. So you want to um, carefully remove the stem and then make sure you get some leaves that stay intact like here and then I just added them to boiling water and let them soak in there for a couple of minutes until they're soft and pliable and I removed the hard part the stem so that I can fold them then I added a little bit of uh, about two spoonfuls of the mushroom lentil mix and then carefully fold over one end, the other end, turn it around and then carefully close it, turn it over and set it aside and then repeat with the remaining cabbage leaves and the filling. You will probably have some filling left over, but you can use it the next day on salad or just serve it with some potatoes. It tastes pretty good and stays fresh in the fridge for a couple days. So now our cabbage rolls are done and we're ready to serve. Just add a little bit of the potato mash to a plate and arrange the stuffed cabbage rolls. I added a little bit of sriracha and some fresh sprouts. You can also add some herbs. I added a little bit of parsley and cilantro and now lunch or dinner is ready to be served. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what else you would like to see and make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell and here is also for the leftovers I have two storage containers and I added two of the cabbage rolls and the remaining mashed potatoes, some sprouts, sriracha, close it up and add it to the fridge and you have some food for the next couple days, which you can take along for work or on the go. Enjoy!